Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial series about AppWrite functions. So in this video series, what I'm gonna do is introduce you to what AppWrite functions are and teach you how to build and deploy your own functions through a collection of videos. So in this video, we'll start with an overview of what AppWrite functions are and why we need them. And then we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in in the following videos and start building and deploying our functions while learning all about them and how everything works. So what are AppWrite functions? Well, AppWrite functions are a way for us to extend our application by writing server-side code inside of isolated environments without ever having to build and maintain our own servers. So you may know these more as serverless functions because we never actually have to worry about the server running our code. Simply build and deploy and let AppWrite take care of all the headaches like scaling up and down and maintaining the server itself. When it comes to how you write your code, this is where AppWrite actually gives you a ton of flexibility by giving you one of many different runtimes to choose from. And that includes Node.js, Python, PHP, Ruby, Dart, Dino, even Bun, and more. So huge plus for AppWrite and giving you the power to choose how you write your own code. So the way AppWrite functions work is like this. Your functions respond to events that occur within your application. For example, writing to an AppWrite database can trigger a function, as well as file uploads to a storage bucket. You can also listen for users registering for an account or set functions to run on a certain schedule. You can also execute functions with an HTTP request, just like you would any normal API endpoint. And this can be done with an endpoint that's automatically generated for each function when that function is created or just through one of the client side SDKs. So sometimes it may help to look at some examples and use cases of when we may need AppWrite functions to better understand them. So I wanna bring up two examples here. And the first situation is when we wanna fire off a welcome email to any new user that registers for an account on our website. Now for this, we would typically need to connect to some third party provider, use some kind of SDK, and we also may need to write some logic to process this email. We wanna get the user's information, know which email we're sending it to, and then use an SDK for that. Now, this can get really messy on the client side, and it also can be risky if we expose any API keys or sensitive information that that specific SDK may provide us with. So what we could do is write all of this on the server side within an AppWrite function, we would process this information and then we can trigger this function and listen for a database event anytime a new user registers. And we can also just simply call an API endpoint from the front end that fires off this function. And now that works seamlessly. The code is clean because it's in an isolated environment and there's no risk of exposing any API keys. The second example I can bring up is using something like the Stripe API or the PayPal API for processing payments. A lot of times it's much safer and much cleaner to write all that code on the server side and keep things hidden from the client side so there's no risk of exposing sensitive information. Okay, so that does it for our introduction to AppWrite functions. Now, this series is one that I'm gonna continuously add on to, so be sure to subscribe to the AppWrite YouTube channel so you don't miss the next videos. And now let's jump into the next video in this series where we're gonna learn how to build and deploy our first function.